Hey guys and welcome back. I thought I would do another chit chat get ready with me because I just got some stuff in my brain I want to share and I look fucking ugly so might as well look decent in the process of telling you these things. And no, I'm not gonna like tell you every product I'm using because do any of you even really care? It's really not interesting. It's literally all drugstore makeup and it's gonna be 90% of the exact same makeup I wore my other chit chat get ready with me because I wear the same fucking makeup every single day. Anyway, life update. Everything's pretty Gucci for me. I am single as fuck and it's awesome. I went to Austin City Limits Music Fest last weekend, and guys, it was literally life-changing. I was 21 this year, so I could get a little fucked up. It was just a complete game-changer versus when I went in high school, like, 100% sober and also a tiny fucking fetus. Quick side note, though, on kind of a more serious subject matter, if you want to know about me, I've been feeling kind of just, like, not myself lately, just not in a good mood, I haven't really wanted to film videos, just not feeling too hot, just just like mentally. I'm not trying to make this a talk on mental illness because that is not something I have been diagnosed with yet. I don't know what my future has for me. I just want to remind everyone just to be kind to everyone that you meet and to just even smile at people. Smiling at strangers really does make a huge difference. It's something I've been trying to do. It really can change someone's whole day and what I'm getting at here is just be kind to everyone and try and brighten people's days because you never know what someone's going through. Like, I guarantee you, even the closest people to me have no idea that lately I've just been feeling like down and not myself and like unmotivated and stuff, you know? Just because I get up every day, I go to class every day, I'm smiling and happy every day, you know? Like, I'm not acting different, I'm still posting on YouTube and stuff, whatever. Sometimes even people that you think are the happiest, most fun-loving, outgoing people or whatever you think are internally fighting demons and issues of their own, you know? So you really just never know. So be kind to everybody. And don't worry, I'm feeling much better lately. That's why I'm filming this. And all you guys' nice comments all the time really do make me so happy. It's so fucking nice every time I read one. Like, makes my day every day. I fucking promise you it does. Anyway, I just posted a story time that was about this guy that, like, said he would date me if this other girl he wanted to date at first wouldn't date him. And in it, I talk briefly at the end about how, like, who you are as a human being right now is still the same person you were as, like, a child. Like, you know, like, your physical body is still, like physically who you were even 10 20 whatever years ago you're just like an adult now or older than you were in the past if you're still like a kid i don't fucking know how old all of you guys are actually that's a great thing comment below how old you are because i really want to know but anyway i just wanted to talk about that concept more of how like you are who you've always been i don't know i just think that life gets super difficult as you get older i mean yeah, obviously, no shit. And you go through a lot of shitty things. You go through your first heartbreak. You go through multiple heartbreaks. Some people go through divorce. Some people miscarry a child. Some people lose a loved one too soon. Some people lose their job. Like, there's really shitty things that happen in life as you get older. And that's literally part of adulthood, which is why if you are under the age of 18 years old, if you even have just this last year left of high school and then it's college, like, if you are still a minor, please enjoy your childhood. And I know you've all heard this from adults in the past and I know you don't listen to it because you just think, oh no, I wanna be older, I wanna be able to drive, I wanna be able to legally drink, I wanna be in college, I wanna have my own dorm, I wanna have my own apartment, I want a big girl job, I wanna be independent. Like, it all sounds so glamorous, I know. So please listen to me at only 21, so I've only been a legal adult for three years. I'm only three years into adulthood and my life still isn't even hard yet. I fucking know that, I realize that and it's already though so much harder and more stressful than it ever was in elementary middle school high school etc so if you are still under the age of 18 just fucking enjoy it because I can't even explain to you and express to you the amount of responsibility and the things you're going to deal with and go through as an adult that you are not even thinking about as a possibility for your future right now and that's fine it's okay to not be thinking of those things because you're a fucking kid so enjoy being a kid because I already wish I could even just go back in time by like three years I don't want to go back to high school I wish I didn't have to do high school again but if I could just be like 16 and so naive and having my biggest fucking stress be if the boy in biology class was going to smile at me today or not. 
literally I just wish that everything could be that easy again and it's not and it's never gonna be that easy again and in fact not only is it never gonna be that easy again which each fucking year that my life goes on now it's actually gonna get harder and I'm 21 already like birthdays don't even matter anymore like oh guess what next year I'm 22 then 23 then oh uh, whatever and then 30 30 counts, but that's nine fucking birthdays away. Adulthood, it just all meshes together and things get so fucking hard. And when those things get hard, that's when people become jaded and that's when people forget to think about the fact that who you are is still who you were as a little girl. Ah, I think of eight year old me sitting on the floor of my living room in my old house, opening Christmas presents and loving Hilary Duff and wanting Barbie dolls and I look at that as a memory and I look at pictures of my eight-year-old self and look at pictures of myself so young and can't even fathom that that's me. It's like, oh yeah, that's me when I'm little. It's like, no, but that's still who you are. Like that is still the same physical person. It's really hard to wrap your mind around that. And I think that's because people get so jaded. Like even just the story I just told about the boy wanting to date me only if the girl he liked more didn't want to date him. Like I was just thinking to myself, I was like, why was I so upset about him wanting to date someone else? Like. It's because at the time, my brain didn't even think of that as an option. My brain couldn't even begin to think that maybe he's talking to other girls, maybe he likes someone more than me. Like I didn't yet know at 13 or 14 years old that the reality of life and relationships could be that you could be talking to someone who is talking to other people. That's called dating around, that's allowed. And you could be talking to someone who decided they like someone more than you and wanted to date someone more than you. Like now at 21, that's already a possibility on my radar when I'm talking to a guy. He could be talking to other girls. He could decide he doesn't want to talk to me anymore. He could bail out on this. That's always a possibility. But at 13, I didn't yet know that that was even an option. I didn't know that that was something people did. I didn't know that, that was something you could do to another person. So when you're younger, you haven't yet experienced the things that start to make you very, not like cold, but like desensitized to things that at 14 would make you cry hysterically for a week. But by now, you just like, Oh shit, yeah, I saw that coming, you know? And I think it's kind of sad just because I wish people wouldn't be so desensitized to feelings and emotion, even negative emotions. I'm so bad at this. I am so like emotionless, like I never cry, stuff like that. Even when really sad or shitty things happen, it takes a lot for me to like break down and cry. And I think that's because I've become a super desensitized person because I don't want to feel things. I don't want to feel negative things. Like why would I ever want to be sad? But I just think it's so important for people to try and feel, even to myself, this is even note to self, even when I go through shitty things, I should be able to sit in that moment and feel those feelings, even if they're shitty, even if I'm crying, because that's a reminder that I'm still the person that I used to be when I was untouched by all the negative things that can happen to you in life as you get older. I don't know. I hope this is making sense. Basically, what I hope anyone gets away from this is just to remind yourself that it is okay to feel things because your little eight-year-old self was feeling all kinds of things all the time and at 14 your first crush not liking you back who you were really feeling that and now going through much worse things than just like your first crush not liking you going through really big hard shitty things you should be able to feel those things too because it's just one more step of getting older and i don't want people to get desensitized to things and i want people to remember that you are still the younger version of you inside of you just put yourself first allow yourself to feel things and don't forget that you're the same person that you've always been well that was a long tangent but i just so really wanted to say that anyway on a lighter note something else i was thinking about the other day was how facebook is literally a database of every single fucking person literally Literally in the world like every country that has access to internet has access to Facebook and people from those countries have Facebook like literally people from all over the fucking world have Facebook and we just think of it as social media but literally because I'm like an expert stalker I love to lurk the fuck out of people I was thinking about the fact that like I can stalk anyone I can I literally see people on FSU campus that I don't know personally that I know a lot about them just from like getting lost in Instagram one day I know that's creepy I'm a creep sorry but I was just thinking like wow it's amazing to me just as a regular civilian how how much information I can learn about someone just through Facebook and Instagram like who they used to date what sorority they're in what fraternity their boyfriends in who their friends are what they like to do on the weekends where they've been on vacation to lately like you know it's creepy as 
fuck that anyone has that much information about anyone else at their fingertips at any given time. But then I was thinking, what if Facebook is literally a database? If you want to think of it at like conspiracy theory level and you can think of it as like the government is like hoarding everything from Facebook, just have profiles on every single person in the world. I mean, actually, I'm sure they're fucking doing that 100%. But I'm just saying it's weird that Facebook is like a database because you think of white pages like, oh, I can look up this person's address or phone number. But no, with Facebook, you can type in someone's name and you get to see where they've been lately, their friends, all their photos. That is more information than just someone's like name, phone number, and address. Like it's literally white pages on steroids. It's kind of fucking intense. And I just thought that was a really crazy concept. So I wrote my teacher about that idea because I was going to use it as like a prompt for a paper. And he told me that it was literally like genius. He was like, I've never thought of that, but I'm going to use this as an example, like for class for the future. So I was like, damn, I am smart as fuck. And yeah, I'm fucking wearing blue mascara. That is my shit. Not really. I've owned it for like literally months. I'm surprised it's not dried out and I just wanted to play with it. Decently less ugly? I don't know. Hopefully. It's not like I'm trying to attract anyone of the opposite sex or anything, so <laughs> no big deal. Just casually walking home from class literally like two hours ago, run into this guy in my favorite fraternity. He's so hot. If he ever watches this, he won't. But if he does, hey, you're so hot. Run into him. We know each other. We're friends. Whatever. We say hi. I'm like, oh my god, we haven't seen you in a while. And uh, he just looked so fucking hot. And I looked like shit. I looked like how I looked at the beginning of this video, but greasier because I hadn't showered yet. And yeah, it was awful. Whatever. Mama could still get it if she wanted to. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. Hope you all have a great day. As always, check me out on social media. I'll put the links to my Instagram and my Snapchat down below. Check it out. It's a good time on both of them. I think so. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I love all of you guys. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye.